Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a stuck-up little... Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a selfish piece of... Why do you keep staring at me? Need inspiration for your writing, Princess? Professor Buffon said we should be civil. This isn't civil to you? Spiteful flirtation, or whatever you call what you are doing, is not exactly my definition of civility, LaRue. Well, Princess, maybe you and I just have very different definitions. Is that so? Then go ahead, what's your definition? Please enlighten me. I would. But I don't kiss and tell. I did not tell anyone about that day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you didn't. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if the rumors were true, it'd be embarrassing for a Clary, right? What do you mean by embarrassing for a Clary? Oh, Princess, do the arithmancy. I'm a LaRue. The only other respectable LaRue is Simone, and she's, you know, a self-made entrepreneur from humble beginnings. Still need me to spell it out for you? I think I can do the rest of the arithmancy myself, LaRue. Huh, thought so. So anyway, I'm gonna level with you here. I don't want to write this crap. How surprising. Yeah, whatever. So what I'm telling you is that I don't want to write this, and I really don't want to spend the rest of the day cooped up in this classroom. Especially not when there's a festival waiting for me. How is this piece of information relevant to me? Well, you see... I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Really now? Y yeah! <clears throat> uh, okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting out of here. Wanna come with me? You're asking me to escape with you. Yep. And why would you invite me? Well, I'm not planning on spending the entire day with you. B but if I leave you here, you'll probably get bitter about staying behind and doing the good girl thing. So I might as well ask you to come with me. That's not a very sound argument, I'm afraid. Not a very sound argument, my foot! I stated facts. So inviting me just because you're afraid I'll squeal is a sound argument? Think of it this way. You don't have to miss out on the festival this year. Besides, we don't have to stick together. You can go hang out with, I don't know, Irene or whoever. <sighs> Look, do you really want to spend the entire day here? I mean, you do you and all that, but if you come with me, you won't have to walk around the city with your bodyguards. I'll stick with you until you find your friends. And, of course, when we get in trouble again for this, you can talk us out of it, I suppose. Yep, that's right. Miss LaRue, you know the risks of escaping detention. They could expel you. Us. For this. Us? So you are coming with me. You don't have to play coy with me, Princess. That was hypothetical, LaRue. I'm asking you seriously. Do you really want to risk expulsion for a day trip with someone you do not even like? Oh, please, Princess. They're not gonna expel us. I'm the brightest elementalist they got here. And, well, you're kinda good at alchemy, too. Kinda good? Excuse me, I'm the top alchemist here. Yeah, cool, whatever. But you know they're not going to expel us, right? 
Before will probably just send us to detention again, and then we'll end up having to write an essay on why we thought truancy was a good idea. LaRue? And at least next week there's no festival to make us feel extra miserable. Well, okay, if you really don't want to. I don't need you to come with me anyway. You can blab to Professor before, I guess. Go! Make me look like the reckless rebel who made a dashing escape! While you, the lawful good damsel who will harm no one, struggled with your morality because stopping me would mean attacking me! It's the kind of narrative they like over here, so just roll with that. LaRue! I mean, sure, people will talk again, but that's alright because you get to- LaRue! I'm coming with you! Look, oh, you are? I mean, good! Awesome! Wise decision, your royal highness. Think of it as compensation for my book. Yeah, I guess. So I'm coming with you, but you will help me find Irene. Irene. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wait. What, chickening out already, princess? No, fill that bowl with water. Why should I? Please, just do it. All right. Let me just draw the sigil and... Hmm. Yes, this one works. Here's your water, princess. This good enough? Perfect. Okay, after that, a sprinkle of this. An illusion spell? In case someone passes by, it'll buy us some time. And for when someone notices... <laughs> of course, you'd be the type to add an alarm. Very vigilant of you, dear lawful good damsel. Maybe you're not so lawful after all. Hey, I have my moments too. Oh, I know. I'm glad you still remember things about me. <laughs> <laughs> Who said anything about remembering? All right, LaRue, I'll just take your word for it. And... done. What do you think? Ooh, what? I would never wear bright blue eyeshadow! That is so tacky! <laughs> oh, so that's how we're doing this. Hey, don't do that! You know I would never wear a headband like that! But you look so cute with cat ears! No, thank you. There, I fixed it. Are you happy now? Hmm, yeah, I guess this is okay. Admit it, LaRue, these are the most perfect copies you've ever seen. Whatever you say, princess. Let's go. By all means, lead the way. All right, princess. <laughs> <laughs>